Hello and welcome to another class of the Script Case Fundamentals training. In this class, I will be showing you how to create nested grids with the grid application. Nested grids are used when you need to display hierarchical data, such as a list of customers, including the related orders within the same list. This is called a master detail application, but this time using multiple grids. The main grid encapsulates another grid, and its records will show additional data within a nested grid, allowing you to display more related information to the end user from multiple tables. So let's create a nested grid and see what it looks like. So I will start by creating two new grids. Each of these grids needs to be related. So I will select for the first grid, the customers table. I will leave the name as it is, grid customers one select the create and return and then click the create button now for the second grid i will this time select the orders table when ready remove the create and return and select the create button so each of these grids needs to be related within the selected database table so for this example i have used both the customers and orders table as they are both related and have some relevant ids associated between them once i have created both grids i need to indicate a parameter within the grid which I want to have nested within the main grid. So I will apply that now to the grid orders which I had just created and to do that I need to edit the SQL statement which is within the left hand menu and I can then access the SQL menu options and there I can now make changes to the SQL select statement created. I will add a where condition being the customer ID equals a global variable also as the customer ID. I will go ahead and save that and now within the grid customers or the main grid where I want to display Play the nested grid it needs to request the parameter but first let's add it by expanding the nested grid option in the left menu then click on links and expand that also and then click on the new link option now here I can specify a name I will indicate orders I will leave the label as it will be automatically included from the name provided and click the create button now I need to select the application which I want to have nested within this grid which is the grid orders I had created earlier and which we just added the global variable for the customer ID. Now clicking next and when ready I now need to indicate the linking parameters which is the customer ID specified previous and once ready we can go ahead and click the confirm button. Now to check the result I will need to generate the source code of the grid orders as well as the grid customers. So I will go ahead and select projects in the main menu and generate the source code so that all outdated applications will be generated generated which will include the grid orders I had just created. Once ready we can close that and go ahead and run the grid customers. When running I can see that I now have an error message for the column orders which should display the nested grid. So I will return back to script case and access the grid orders and modify the where statement we had added. A slight adjustment here. Now that I have added the quotation marks, I can go ahead and generate these grid orders again. And then we can just simply refresh the grid customers which we had added. And we can see now that the orders grid is now also correctly displayed. Within the grid application, you can also make some changes to how this data is displayed as well as its position and such. So let's go ahead and do that. Back within script case, I will close the source generation and access the grid customers. Now within the left hand menu, I have the nested grid option which we had used earlier. There I can click on orders and here we can see that I can make some adjustments to the display of this nested grid. So here I can change the label, I can edit the link and adjust the parameters if they have changed or if required. I can change to display the header, sequential, as well as total. We can also indicate whether subqueries should appear within XML. We can change the visualization as well as various display settings. Above the links and orders item we had added, we have then also settings available. Accessing settings, you will also find options available for customization of the document. You will also find options available for customization of the document exportation, enabling or disabling the view of the nested grid within the export. Here there is an interesting option which is the enable tree view. I will select yes and notice that the option title in the same line is then automatically disabled. Below that you can select the position where you want to display the nested grid in one column below the record or set individually. Let's see the grid now with the current changes applied. You can see the records of the main table and there we now have within the orders column 
a collapsible option included within the grid. Clicking on it will display the nested grid including the child records which are all related to this specific record. Thank you for watching this part of the Scriptcase Fundamentals training. I hope to see you again soon in the next class.